I've been making a lot of videos these last couple of days and I was looking forward to a chill weekend when something caught my eye. And guys, this is too good to ignore. And as the official deep learning news source, I had to cover it. All right, so most of you are probably aware of this situation because you watched the last episode of Deep News. But for those of you who are not, I better explain what the freak is going on. A few months ago, Timnit Gebru submitted a paper on the dangers of large language models. Google, who has been working on very large language models, didn't like this and withdrew her paper. Obviously, Timnit wasn't very happy, so she asked for more details. What specific feedback exists? Who is it coming from? Why not? Why not before? She didn't get any response. Here's an email from Jeff who explained Timnit had required a number of conditions to be satisfied in order for her to continue working at Google. The conditions were related to the feedback process of the paper review. Google basically took this as a resignation, although in reality, she was fired. Timnit Gebru has since received a lot of support externally and internally within Google. With over 9,000, no, sorry, with over 2,000 people have signed a petition and several people have resigned from Google. And by several, I mean two Google engineers. Wait, hold on a second. How many people work at Google? All right, guys, uh, so I did some uh, quick maths. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it's 0.001 percent you know i think a lot of people are upset because they feel google does everything just to keep good pr even to the extent of heavily censoring their employees there are other examples of this as well where google basically told their research scientists to talk positively on sensitive topics within ai all right so i think the conflict here is super clear uh, the ethics team wants to do independent research on the ethical issues on AI and Google wants to have good PR. And in ways you can really understand both, both sides to this. All right, so everything we've talked about so far was from a few months back and it's been back and forth on Twitter ever since then. Honestly, back and forth is putting it quite mildly. It's been a war zone without Gulag. People demand that Google make an apology People are turning down Google job offers. And basically the company who had don't be evil as their slogan became Evil Corp. Oh, and by the way, Google, if you're watching and you're considering hiring me, I'd happily change my outlook on this sensitive topic and view things in a more positive light. All right, so what made this go viral again and why this is deep news worthy was the following tweet from the co-lead of the AI ethics team. This made a lot of people react on Twitter. And then there's this tweet by Francoise Cholet. where nobody has a clue of what he's talking about. Anyways, talking about Francois Scolette, this situation has to be particularly difficult, considering the fact that he made a bunch of tweets a while ago, totally ripping Facebook apart, with the final conclusion that people working at Facebook AI basically don't have a conscience. Yeah, this did not age well. Guys, I think we should all send him some love because it's gonna be a real hard time for him when he realizes that Facebook and Google are basically the same. But anyways, back to the issue at hand, you're probably asking, why was she fired? And that should be the question on everyone's mind right now. And the only article I can find is this one. And this is what is said coming from the side of Google. 
Our security systems automatically lock an employee's corporate account when they detect that the account is at risk of compromise due to confidential problems or when an automated rule involving the handling of sensitive data has been triggered. And they continue, in this instance, yesterday our systems detected that an account had exfiltrated thousands of files and shared them with, an, with multiple external accounts and we explained this to the employee earlier today. The people on Reddit seem to be taking the side of Google on this one, saying that she clearly violated the company policy and it should be, uh, and that it is pretty clear that she should be fired for such an action. On the other hand, people on Twitter seem to be taking the opposite side, saying uh, basically how sorry they are that the ethics team have to go through this. But to me, both sides are wrong because we really don't know anything about the situation. There's too much context and too much information, uh, information missing. What we really want to know is what were the files that she was transferring and what did they say and why did she do that? Also, why hasn't she explained why she was fired? To me, it's difficult to draw any conclusions from this. And of course, if anything of important comes to light, I'll share it with you in the next episode of Deep News.